What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. There's been a lot of rumors about Pascal Siakam this offseason and a couple weeks ago it came out I believe from Shams that the Hawks made an offer centered around DeAndre Hunter and AJ Griffin to the Raptors but of course Raptors declined it. But today I kind of want to play a hypothetical world where the Raptors actually accept this trade so Pascal Siakam is gone and we can rebuild this Raptors team from there after they accept the trade with the Hawks. Let's get into it. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in this one and subscribe if you are new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated. We're actually on the road to 40,000 subs right now, so your description to help us reach that goal would be amazing. Now, first and foremost, I want to start at the top because I know how crazy some Raptors fans can be. I will tell you right now, I'm not saying that this is a fair trade. I'm not saying this is the trade that the Raptors should do or should they trade Siak. I'm not saying any of that. We're literally doing this video today for entertainment purposes only since the Hawks have been heavily pursuing Siak. But of course, Masai Ujiri had declined it already, but we're still going to play a hypothet hypothetical world where he accepts it. So here's the trade that I did. So we had to wave a couple guys, but here's the trade that we did. So it was this. We went and got, uh, so it was Pascal Siakam for DeAndre Hunter, AJ Griffin, Kobe Buff can out doing the trade as well. Two first round picks, so a Kings fire protected pick and then a pick swap with the Spurs. And Patty Mills was in there, a salary filler as well. So that was the trade I did to land Pascal Siakam on the Hawks. So not only are you getting Hunter and AJ Griffin, you're also getting Kobe Bufkin. And I still think this is a lot for Siakam, who's on an expiring contract. He's already kind of turned down the idea of resigning with other teams. So I still think this is a lot to get back for an expiring contract. But I understand as a Raptors fan, you may disagree. You think Siakam is just the man himself. I get it. Don't worry. We don't have to argue about it. So... Let's take a look at what we're going to look like going into next season, though, and what this rotation is going to look like. So I'm going to move Scotty Barnes to the four immediately, really, really quickly. But this is what we got. So we're going to have Schroeder, OG, DeAndre Hunter, Scotty Barnes, and Yaka Pertle. So I'm actually cool with this being our starting five uh, for the next season. And then you got Gary Trent, Otto Porter, Chris Boucher, AJ Griffin, and Grady Dick, which I love that AJ Griffin and Grady Dick are getting minutes. Still have McDaniels down here, which uh, we're actually not going to play an 11-man rotation. And... I don't want to play my bench that much. Like, I'd rather be like a 50, you know, 50 split, something like that. So we'll go like this, and then we'll have uh, Achua McDaniels as spot guys if we need them to come in. And I think I'll go ahead and send Buffkin and Coloco to the G League. I mean, they're not really going to play, it looks like. So Buffkin, I want him to be like a huge part of what we do next year. So he's up to a uh, 74 overall, but I feel like if we send him to the G League, that's going to do a lot for us. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Coloco. So we're going to send those to the G League. I'm going to have their shot tendencies boosted up like crazy in the G League. And I also want to mess with the shot tendencies for the regular season. So Kobe Bufkin going to go up like crazy there in Coloco. Uh, similar thing. I want him to develop like crazy as well. But I'll have to fix this when he comes back and, play, and is playing for us. So something like that. And shot tendencies for this season. So now that Siakam is gone, there's a lot of shots to go around. And I think obviously one thing that's been talked about is OG wants a bigger role. So this is your chance, OG. You can get yourself... A bigger role here on this Toronto team and see what you do with it. And then I'm going to push bar and shot tendency up a little bit. And then is there anyone else I want to push push up? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. And we're just going to simulate year one and see what happens. So I'll see you. I'll see you guys at the end of year one. Maybe we stop at the trade deadline to make a trade. We shall see. But I don't plan on it. We'll just kind of see how it works out. One thing we do have to do is resign OG to Nobi though in the offseason. So I mean, we could theoretically trade him at this trade deadline but i might try to keep him around i'm not really sure what direction we're going to be going in in this rebuild we got a couple young players and we still have some you know win now players so we'll see what we decide to do so we're actually stopped at this trade deadline and we're not here to make any trades i don't think and i want to show you what og and anobi is up to as a leading guy now so obviously he pushed his shots and see up like crazy he's averaging 19 points per game which isn't bad i would love nothing more than to see og just pop off and average 25 somewhat in this video but I've never really seen him do it, so I don't know if that's even going to be possible. Uh, but yeah, I have like 19 from Barnes, 16 from Trent, and then 15 from Schroeder, 10 from Hunter, and then 9 from Malachi Flynn. But the main reason why we're here right now is contract extensions, because OG Nobi is going to resign one, and as I said, they're going to have to resign him, so we might as well go ahead and do it. So, uh, 22 million, I think that is, I think he's going to get around like 30 million, if I'm completely honest, but I'm going to go ahead and give him 25 million over the next three years, and then, or, you know, you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. I'm also going to resign Garrett Trent Jr. to keep him around as well and then Achua is going to refuse the resign and then Malachi Flynn is going to resign why not for extra depth we can keep him around so that will be the extensions we give out here at the extension deadline so Ojinobi is locked up and we also locked up Garrett Trent Jr. and then we still have Yakupura locked up and Hunter locked up so we're kind of locked into a core right now I think the main thing we need to figure out this offseason is who's going to be the point guard going forward because 
right now i don't really want it to be dennis schroeder to put to be completely blunt i don't think schroeder is the long-term answer but we'll figure it out once we get in the off season so at the end of year number one luca wins mvp vic is your rookie of the year on the spurs got chris paul on the warriors winning six man 80 defensive player most improved goes to scotty barnes okay 19 points eight rebounds seven assists was very good with siakam gone Tyron Luke, coach of the year for the Clippers, and Jacob Park for the Celtics as your executive. So, can't imagine we have any All NBA representatives for the Raptors here. It would be cool, but I doubt it. And then uh, we did get OG making all defensive first teams. So that's cool. So he still averaged like almost 20 points per game and made an All Defensive first team. So love to see that. And here's All Defensive second team. We are in the plan tournament, and we are going to be the ninth seed. So if we take a look at the player stats in full, here's what it's looking like. So you had 20, almost 20 from OG, 19 from Barnes, 16 from Dennis Schroeder, 16 from Trent. 10 from DeAndre Hunter, 9 from Flynn, and then 9 from uh, Otto Porter, 8 from AJ Griffin, 7 from Grady Dick. Uh, Chris Boucher is hurt right now with 6.5, and, and then 4, and then 2. So, here goes nothing. Playing the Indiana Pacers in round 1 of the plan. So, we'll see if we can take them down, and we are going to lose. So, we immediately get eliminated, unfortunately. So, we're going to be hitting the lottery, and I uh, can't remember if our pick is lighter protected or not this offseason. We shall see. But let's invite the playoffs, and let's see who goes to win the championship, and then we'll, you know, get in the offseason figure out what we're going to do. And I think the main thing I said I wanted to figure out was the point guard spot. So somebody current round and that is going to be the 76ers. Be the Lakers in five, which is kind of interesting because we all know what kind of mess the 76ers are right now. But LeBron James, Chris Paul are retiring. So as far as the lottery is concerned, as I said, can't remember if the Spurs have our pick. If it's lottery protected, I cannot remember. So it is going to be, um, let's see. So yeah, it does go to the Spurs, the 13th overall pick. I could double check and see if that's actually the case. I might do that just to be on the safe side and maybe just like top five protected. I literally do not remember. So that might be correct. But if it isn't, obviously I will fix it. Uh, but as far as the staff signing is concerned, and I feel like Marco got us into the plan, which is great. But obviously we're not looking to be a playing team right now with still having OG here and Gary Trans. So we're still trying to be a good team. You know, it's not really where we want to be. So we're going to sign all three of these guys. Got Becky Hammond, which is also really cool. And then we can go on draft night and uh, figure out if our pick is supposed to go to us if it's lottery protected or if it's just not and then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with no draft pick so our pick was in fact top six protected which obviously did not fall in the top six but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trade dennis schroeder away to the clippers for amir coffee in a first round pick it is just a pick swap but i think getting a first round pick for schroeder is still very good so we're doing that trade because i don't want Schroeder to be my long-term point guard anyway so we can net another first round pick to potentially make a big trade which is why we're kind of obviously stacking up first round picks right now so we have like uh you know one two three in next year's draft and then we have one two in 2026 so definitely have some draft capital here that we could potentially use at our advantage this offseason i don't think i have anybody else's pick yes yeah, so no picks in this draft whatsoever let's go straight to player options and see what we got here so barnes edge griffin coloco we're accepting all those of course and then qualifying offers ron harper and uh pressure chua are both free age or restricted free agents and free agency entirely you got uh pressure chua here so i don't think we have cast space like that so we're only like 22 million off from being able to sign like a james harden we could just sign like markel folds or tyus jones or dinwiddie caruso like or even lonzo ball who's hurt right now and you could maybe i mean lonzo ball in a video i saw yesterday said he would be back so lonzo ball would not be the worst idea in the world i actually kind of like the idea of it because he just set out the last season so technically speaking there's an opportunity for him to play the very next season now it would be a big risk but then we could go ahead and try to get lonzo ball on the team and then we can maybe uh you know go somewhere else um with our draft pick so then there's like christian wood tillman but yeah you know what lonzo ball in a hypothetical world i think would be amazing here so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and offer lonzo ball a contract now if he was gonna get a contract offer i think it would have to be like uh you know some kind of contract that's like risk-free so like a one plus one, I think would make a ton of sense. I don't know what kind of offers he has right now. He has none. So the Raptors, uh, you know, as I, as the Raptors today, are going to take a chance on Lonzo. So we're going to sign Lonzo Ball to a one-year deal to be our brand new point guard. That was a money dump from Dennis Schroeder. So we got Lonzo Ball on the team now. Obviously, he's still hurt at the moment, but he should be technically, I think, healthy in the next season. And then we still have OG, Gary Trent, Grady Dick, and Kobe Bufkin. We still have DeAndre Hunter, AJ Griffin, Amir Coffey, and McDaniels. Uh, power 40 of scotty barnes boucher and then you have yaka portal and christian coloco i wouldn't mind upgrading my center spot uh, with the draft picks that we have because yaka portal just never really develops that much unfortunately i love yaka portal but he just doesn't go up in overall so i feel like if we could take a swing at like a better center like 
I know the 76ers in this hypothetical will just won a championship, but like going after Embiid would have been weird or been kind of cool. But I don't know if there's like that kind of center out there that would make sense for us to go after. So maybe we wait until the trade deadline to do something like that. That's probably what we're going to do right now. So like, I guess Anthony Davis, you know, did get re-signed by the Lakers, but it says they'll never trade him. Maybe the trade deadline, they change their mind. Jokic becomes available. We go for him. I don't think that will happen. But yeah, we'll keep our options open. And so we got our point guard. We got our shooting guards. We got our forwards. So I think we just mainly need to sign like a backup five. Uh, so like Nurkic is here, Tillman or Looney. So any of these guys would be totally fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and lean towards um, Kavon Looney though. Because I think Looney would be really solid. So we're going to sign Kavon Looney to be our brand new backup center. I'm also going to go ahead and sign McConnell as extra depth just in case. So we'll sign him. And then I'm going to sign a power forward for extra depth as well. So Covington, come on down. So that will be our, or no, Covington's going to the Suns. So let's go. Let's just bring back Otto Porter. Let's go one-year deal, Otto Porter, sign him, and then he'll be our backup power forward, or one of these guys will. So if we move like Porter to the four, he should, yeah, he's still the same. So something like that. And uh, we're still not really a contender in my mind, but I think bringing Lonzo in is going to be very, very nice because he is going to be the perfect point guard that I kind of want on this team anyway. Kind of a pass first point guard who can play some defense when healthy. So that's the main thing is banking on Lonzo Ball's health. Is he going to be healthy? So Scotty Barnes is up to an 85. Lonzo's up to an 83. So he should be playing here soon. Grady Dick is up. Uh, DeAndre Hunter is up. And so is Gary Trent. So is uh, OG Nobi. And then uh, Kobe Bufkin. Kobe Bufkin is down only, or he's only up one overall, which is actually quite disappointing so the trick didn't really work it looks like maybe that trick just does not work i don't know but uh zay high gets hurt um but that's fine we're not too worried about zay high and then chris livingston gets hurt uh, i don't know why he's on our team because i'm pretty sure he's supposed to be on the bucks but whatever and then we're gonna go ahead and get into this next season low expectations still but i think bringing lonzo ball in especially if he's healthy is gonna make the world of a difference so going into this season, Power King's going to actually land us at sixth overall as we're a four-star pace and space. So that's kind of cool to see. So we're going to leave it at pace and space for sure. But rotation going into year number two is going to look like this. So Lonzo Ball, OG Anobi has the backcourt. Defensively, that's nasty. Plus DeAndre Hunter, Scotty Barnes, and then Yaka Pertle. So as I said, Yaka Pertle only is 77 overall. It would make a ton of sense if we could find a way to move on from Pertle, in my opinion. Uh, Gary Trent Jr., Grady Dick, AJ Griffin, Kevon Looney, and Otto Porter. So... Kobe Bufkin still not getting minutes. Amir Coffey not getting any minutes. And Chris Boucher uh, not getting any minutes as well. But as I said, I think with Yaka Pearl's contract plus Boucher's contract, I would love nothing more than to be able to make a big trade at the deadline, hopefully. So I'm going to boost down Bufkin and uh, Coloco Shotsensi, though. I'm not going to send him to the G League again. So we'll go something like that. So I will see you guys probably the trade deadline because I hope to make a big trade for center using Yaka Pearl. But we'll see if that opens up. So at the end of year number two or three, I can't remember where we're at already, which is kind of uh, sad to be honest, but MVP goes to Anthony Edwards, uh, 38 points per game. Yeah, Anthony Edwards is a dog in this file, man. He really is. Uh, rookie of the year goes to Ron Holland, Markel Fultz, six men on the Pistons, Giannis Finch, a player. Edwards also wins most approved, no surprise there, and Chris Finch, uh, 62 and 20 for them. Here's Yon Bay first team. I'll be a second team. I'll be a third team. Do we still get like OG? No, but Lonzo Ball makes an all-offensive first team, and OG makes an all if it's a second team. So our backcourt is pretty damn good defensively, I, I would I would think. But I decided not to stop at the trade deadline to make a big trade because we were the second seed in the East. We were really good all year, which is quite surprising. But uh, Sky Barnes averaged 21 and a half, and then OG averaged 20 on the dot. So not too bad. Gary Trent with 18, 15 from DeAndre Hunter, 12 from Malachi Flynn, and then 12 from Lonzo Ball. 11 from Grady Dick, 10 from AJ Griffin, and 8 from Otto Porter. So, Scotty Barnes is hurt right now, but he's also day-to-day, -day, so he should be back very, very soon. So, let's go ahead and see who we get to play. So, it's going to be the Charlotte Hornets in round one. So, Charlotte has Lamelo, Rozier, Brennan Miller, Miles Ridge, Mark Williams, Luke Kennard. So, I imagine that we should be able to have, yeah, Scotty Barnes is back now. So, uh, Lonzo Ball, of course, is going to be a no-brainer this offseason. We're absolutely going to accept that option We'll pick it up and then uh, everything else is just a matter of figuring out if we don't win a championship here, what kind of upgrade do we need to make? So somebody current round against Charlotte, they're going to win game one and game two. So they might eliminate us here, but we even it up and can we win game five? Um, yes, no. Or, oh, I didn't mean to click simcast game five. Okay. We won game five and we win game six. Okay. Charlotte gave us a little bit of a scare there, but thankfully we were able to uh, prevail. OG. It's coming off the bench now, which I don't really love, but I guess. Uh, now I get to play Cleveland. So Cleveland, of course, has Evan Bologna, Jerry Allen, Bruce Brown. Okay, that's a nice addition. Mitchell and Garland. So Cleveland, of course, is never an easy team to beat. So 
don't really know what to expect here so game one we're down one to zero game two we even it up 127 111 you had 18 and 27 from barnes and og and then grady dick gets hurt we are going to and then he's fully healed so we win game three so i don't know why we're so good already it's kind of weird but uh they still want gary trent to come on to start um no way we beat cleveland right i mean i mean i guess this isn't reg a regular 2k file we're going to game seven with them and uh let's see what they want to do so they want us to rebuild the rotation they want grady dick to start now which is kind of interesting i guess game seven grady dick starting let's see what happens so uh first quarter to jump off to a big lead but second quarter they might chop it up and uh, i think we got it bro i think we beat cleveland in seven so took care of them uh grady dick they wanted him to start yeah he scored 20 points so shout out to grady dick 23 from gary trent 14 and 7 from lonzo 9 from auto porter and og was nowhere to be found in that game shot one of seven uh which is interesting but now i get to play the celtics so the celtics never an easy team now if you look at this raptors team i can't sit here and tell you that i would believe that this is a uh eastern conference final team i just don't know if i can get behind that but hey it's a good team i just i don't know man this file is interesting sometimes but game one we're down one to zero i don't think we beat the celtics right yeah we're down two to zero down three to zero okay so we made it all the way to the east Conference finals but we fall short to the celtics that's fair uh but we got the celtics and the timberwolves so edwards is he gonna go win a championship no the Celtics are just too good they beat them in five so i this i decided as i told you guys not to stop at the deadline uh maybe i should have to make that big trade but we are projected sacramento's pick and uh also we're projecting no i think that's it so we are going to have the what uh what pick our 10th overall pick from the Sacramento Kings and we are also I believe we have our own pick and then we also have OKC's pick so a lot of different things we can do with those draft picks as I said I'm looking to try to upgrade my uh center I think Yaka Portal is great he never goes up in overall though unfortunately so if we can get like a legitimate center here I think that would put us over the top I really do Miami's Bam Adebayo is going to be the target. He's on the last year of his deal, and Miami was just disappointing. Now, I don't know if they're going to accept this, but I'm still going to try for it. So, Yaka Portal would be the centerpiece of the trade. So, he's only got one-star trade value, so that's not really going to move the needle for them. Uh, so, it's going to have to be highlighted by these draft picks. So, I offer Yaka Portal 10, 20, and 28, and then we can offer another future first for Bam Adebayo services. Now, these picks don't have little to no value, so I don't know if they would even accept this, but... Yaka Pearl and four first for Bam. They do not agree to that right away. I might have to revisit this with some players after the draft, but I'll also throw the Spurs pick. Ah, let's wait. Let's wait till after the draft. So we're going to go ahead and let this actually let's jump in and draft whoever because it doesn't matter. We're going to get here because they might be thrown in the trade to um, the Miami Heat. I'm just saying. So I saw Trent Flowers and I know he's very, very good in this draft. So we're going to go for him. And at pick 20, I believe we got Jason on the board. I'm going to take him adding a lot of wings to the team and these guys are immediately going to be flipped to uh miami most likely and i'm gonna draft aj johnson so we draft those three guys trent flowers i believe is an 80 overall in this draft no 76 my bad so jason aj johnson i think those guys are going to single-handedly help me out uh so we're going to obviously accept lonzo ball no brainer there so now let's go revisit the idea of uh bam out of bio or maybe even the lakers with anthony davis which would be cool but i feel like i haven't traded for bam in quite some uh quite some time so we're going to try for bam again so let's go to the heat and talk about bam and a bio which the heat just missed playoffs so maybe they're willing to move on from him so again we're gonna go offer yaka portal i'm gonna offer trent flowers who i just drafted and just kidding i can i guess and then so i can't offer them but i would be fine with offering deandre hunter who i just didn't even think about so aj griffin could get like a more prominent role here uh so he could maybe start at the three this year for us and then we could offer uh maybe eight we can't offer any of them i just forgot about that so let's say it's this so let's say it's this uh first round pick first round pick and then we'll offer i guess maybe we do offer aj griff i don't really want to grady dick maybe let's offer that okay they agree so it only took deandre hunter so deandre hunter comes in and uh, or comes out i'm sorry and then we got uh you know bam out of bow here so that's great so now taking a look at what we're about to look like going into year two it's gonna or year three or four lonzo ball maka flynn aj johnson og Nobi, gary trent grady dick colby buffkin uh, AJ Griffin, Trent Flowers, Amir Coffey, and then Jason Barnes, Otto Porter Boucher, and Bam out of bio, uh, Kavon. Well, I guess some of these guys are free agents, so we might lose some of them. But Barnes and Coloco, no brainers, must resign both of them. And then uh, we might have like a Porter who we could resign. Amir Coffey is here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Amir Coffey a deal. I'm going to offer Boucher a deal as well. Get both of them back. It says, hey, renounce Scotty Barnes. That makes no sense. We're not doing that. He was our second best player 
last year we're going to offer or going to match his contract uh, that the Knicks are offering him and then I'm going to go ahead and get Coloco back as well so I think we should have ourselves a full rotation so we get Bam Adebayo as the guy that's going to hopefully take us over the top so our guard depth is great our forward depth is great and center depth so I think we're good we're going to go straight to player progression and see what we're about to look like going into year three or four so player progression uh great dick is up Kobe Buffkin's up to a 76 and Adrian Griffin is up and he looks like he might be ready to start and technically speaking we could do this with OG let's move him to the three man he goes up to an 85 overall that's going to give Grady Dick or Gary Trent a starting two spot so I think that makes a lot more sense and then AJ Griffin can come off the bench so I think that's what we're going to do there so that makes a ton more sense to me OG will be back at his forward spot and then now I think we're ready so Kobe Buffkin out for the summer league unfortunately but I'll see you guys at the rotation so rotation going into the season is looking like this Lonzo Ball Gary Trent OG Ananobi Scotty Barnes Bam Adebayo Grady Dick AJ Griffin Kavon Looney Trent Flowers and Kobe Buffkin so overall this is looking very very good in my opinion proficiency is also lending us at a four and a half system I think bringing Bam Adebayo in is going to be what leads us to winning a championship we just were very very good without him last year now that we have him as an upgrade to the center position I can't imagine that we aren't a contender again this year as long as everyone can be healthy so i'll see you guys at the end of year three and let's see how this ends up going so at the end of this season we only finish up as the fourth seed in the east but interestingly enough we get to play the miami heat in round one which we just made a trade with them so 22 from scotty barnes 17 from og and ob 17 from gary trent 15 from AJ griffin 14 from grady dick and then 13 and 9 in a block from bam and then lonzo with 10 and 8 but he's day to day so he should be back aj johnson with eight seven from Trent Flowers, seven from Kobe Bufkin, and seven from Jason when they did play. So one thing we're also going to do that I haven't done in this video at all is we're going to shrink this town to a nine-man rotation. So we don't need to play 10 players. Let's go nine-man rotation, and then we'll go from there. So we get Miami in round one. Obviously, I'm hoping to be able to beat them. We just took their center. We gave them Yaka Pertle. They have Carlisle, Hero. Uh, they have Zubat starting at their power forward spot. That's absolutely disgusting. I better not lose to this team. So many current round against Miami. They win game one. Bro, if we lose to... a Zubot starting at the power forward spot. I'm literally going to be so upset. Okay, so he's back to being at the center spot, but we're down three to one right now. So this ain't looking good for your boy in the Raptors. So let's see if we can maybe come back from a three to one deficit. Probably not. And that looks like, okay, so it looks like I might be able to squeeze this game out. This is a close one though. And we are going to escape this one with a victory. Okay, so game five is a win. Now can we win game six in Miami to force the game seven is the question. Uh, somewhat of a close game I think we have it though as long as we just keep it and we are going to beat them in game six we have forced the game seven back to Toronto and can we go and take advantage of the three to one lead or blowing that them blowing a three to one lead I should say and it's looking good we're absolutely like obliterating them right now so we are going to win game seven so they blew a three to one lead let's go now we're gonna play the Celtics so are we good enough to beat this Celtics is the question they're the team that eliminated us last year I would love nothing more than if, if they had an injury right now. Just got to help us out. So, Jalen Brown and Tatum are healthy. And it doesn't look like they have one. So, Terrence Mann is their starting point guard, though. So, that, I don't know. It, it isn't that intimidating, I guess. And their bench is kind of awful. So, outside of, like, Porzingis, Tatum, and then Robert Williams, like, their bench kind of sucks. Cody Martin's fine. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance we could beat them. Let's see what happens. Game one, we're down 1-0, 134, 131. So, 22 from Gary Trent, 20 from Bam game two we even it up 119 and 117 38 from tatum 29 from barnes game three two to one game four all right so game five is gonna be a big game here so game five and td garden can we come out here and win it so they're gonna have the early lead and it looks like they might be running away with it because we're just not scoring enough and yeah they blew us out in game five so at td garden they absolutely blew us out so now it's time for game six and see if we can win game six in toronto to force this game seven back to TD Garden so we have the lead right now that doesn't mean much because obviously Boston can easily get back in this game and uh it wouldn't matter but it looks like we got game six so we are forcing a game seven which is great so now game seven let's put our best rotation we possibly can out there they want to start Grady Dick Lonzo Ball Grady Dick OG Barnes beyond Metabile so the main thing is everyone has been healthy now has Boston got anybody hurt no so everyone's been healthy in this series and I guess Cody Mart got hurt looks like but here we go game seven in boston here we go here goes nothing so game seven we have the lead in the first quarter with a 13 point lead and we're gonna almost win the second quarter but we do not and boston's gonna take the lead back okay so we're going to the fourth quarter a very very close game we're down three right now we're down one 
Okay, let's just keep it close. Please start scoring a little bit. Okay, uh, go score again. Make this like a two-point game so I can jump in and take care of business. 85, uh, 91, make it close, and I'm jumping in. 90, 95, um, 92, 98. Oh, Boston's starting to run it with it a little bit. Bro, we're down eight. Two minutes, 34 seconds left. I don't think there's any way I'm coming back from an eight-point deficit, but you know what? Let's give it our best shot. I'm sorry, it's actually a 12-point deficit if I could actually read. But yeah, let's see if I can come out here and come back from a 12-point deficit. So I doubt it. But hey, we'll give it our best try. So let's see how this is going to go. So Jason Tatum has the ball in OG. I'm off-balling the computer. That's how shameless I am right now. Uh, but Jason Tatum, I thought for sure he was doing a step-back midi. Uh, they have used the whole shot clock, which kind of sucks because I need as much clock as possible. And uh, OG is going to almost get a steal. Porzingis since. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that literally was the most absurd thing I've ever seen. Are we serious right now? Are we serious, bro? Did we really just foul him and one four four point play? He misses it, I guess. But that literally is so annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot it with Lonzo, and we're gonna hit it. So that was a quick two pointer. I kind of wanted the three, but whatever. And uh, yeah, so we're down 13 now. That was so annoying, bro. I cannot believe Porzingis got an and one three after we almost stole the ball. That's so unfortunate. But okay, let's see what Jalen Brown's gonna do. I highly doubt we're we're coming back now. I think that Porzingis one just took everything out of me. But Jalen Brown, we almost get a steal again. The man cannot dribble, as we know. Instead, he's going to somehow get to the basket. I don't know why Bam on a bio left his spot. You don't have to worry about Robert Williams on the perimeter, bro. Like that. Uh all right, whatever. I'm just gonna take Lonzo in. And one. No, it does not go in, unfortunately. So here we go. Let's see if I can hit my free throws. We're going to make the... F nope. It's in and out. Do not make the first one. And let's see if we can hit the second one. Second one, I think, is going to be in. Okay, so we hit the second one. Alonzo Ball has been the guy we've been going to so far. All right, so Gary Trent on Jalen Brown. Somehow, we've almost got a steal on both... Both? Both possessions by Boston. We've almost gotten a steal. Instead, we just somehow give them a score. So, all right. We're going off with Gary Trent Jr. Let's see if we can do anything. I'm going to pat... Pass it to OG for three. And that was deep. And I don't know how Bam doesn't get that rebound over Jalen Brown, bro. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. I should have been up a little bit with OG. Uh, Jalen Brown midi. That might seal it. He misses it, though. I mean, this is probably already sealed as it is. I, I don't know why I'm saying it's not sealed already. But OG for three. This time, he missed it again. So, kind of deep once again. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Porzingis just took all the momentum away. It, he really did. So, I think we're going to lose to Boston, come up short. Let's see if I can stop Jalen Brown from scoring. We'll, we'll, we'll play the rest of the quarter. Or, yeah, the rest of this game out. Porzingis, uh, I come off of him, and he's going to miss it. So we're off and running again. Been playing pretty good defense so far. Do I just take it to with Bam? Or, nah. I mean, I kind of want to hit a three here. So, OG, hit a three, and he still doesn't hit one. So, unfortunately, boys, we're going to fall short to the Celtics once again. And I think I'm, I'm going to get a steal from... Yo, throw a lob up to Bam. For the all right guys i'm out thank you guys for watching this is crushables we fall short of the celtics i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love